Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. We have dy over dx equals x plus y plus 3 divided by x minus y plus 5. And we're going to try to find an expression that involves y and x. Now, it would have been nice if we had x plus y over x minus y. Our equation would be homogeneous, but we don't have it. But don't worry about it. We can still do something about this. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to replace, I'll use substitution here obviously, I'm going to replace x with something like, let's say z plus h, and I want to replace y with w plus k. h and k are constants, and then later on you're going to see what I'm talking about. We're going to find out the h and k values so that our expression is nicer. So let's go ahead and d both sides. Since h is constant, if x equals z plus h, then dx would be dz plus 0. Because the derivative of h is 0, therefore we can just write this as dx equals dz. And the same thing goes here. If y is equal to w plus k, in other words, w and y differ by a constant, then their d's are equal. And by the way, d is just the differential, which is, um, which is something that comes from the derivative, right? So from here we get dy equals dw. Awesome. Now, we're going to go ahead and plug this in. It, now, you're, we're going to use it in our expression and see what happens. So our original expression contains dy over dx, but right now I can replace dy with dw, and I can replace dx with dz and then this becomes dw over dz and here I can just replace x and y with these so let's go ahead and do it we get z plus h plus w plus k plus 3 and then that is divided by x minus y plus 5 okay now this expression looks more complicated but don't worry we're gonna simplify it okay now, here's one thing I want you to notice. We can kind of arrange these terms a little bit and put the z and w together. And let me go ahead and write those first because I'm going to change the color here. And then plus, and I think this is going to be a plus 2. And now let's go ahead and write the constants together, like h plus k plus 3 and h minus k plus 5. Awesome. Now. Take a look at this expression and remember what I told you at the very beginning, right? I said it would it would have been nice if we had x plus y over x minus y. We don't have that, but we can have z plus w over z minus w, which is going to make this a homogeneous equation. And that is easy to solve by substitution. And we've done that before. So why don't we just make it homogeneous by taking these values to be zero? So I want this to be 0, and I want this to be, and those are constants by the way, right? I want that constant to be 0, so that we can get something much, much simpler. Let's forget about y and x for now, and let's just write our expression as dw over dz equals z plus w divided by z minus w. So this is the equation we're going to be solving, but let's go ahead and find the h and k values first. From here, we get two equations that gives us a system. So h plus k plus 3 equals 0, and h minus k plus 5 equals 0. You can go ahead and add these up. k cancels out. 2h plus 8 equals 0. This means h is equal to negative 4. And if you plug in h into one of these equations, you get k equals 1. So we got the h and k values, which means we can plug them in and just write x and y in terms of z and w. So x is going to be z plus h, x is going to be z minus 4, and y is going to be w plus k, it's going to be w plus 1. So these are going to be the expressions that I'm using at the end, but we're going to solve this equation in z and w first. So this is our, this is our differential equation in terms of w and z. And let's go ahead and talk about that. So since this became a homogeneous equation, which is awesome, right? 
we can solve it easily by using substitution. How does substitution work here? Well, here's what we, we're going to do. We can just replace, since dw over dz is our derivative, I'd like to write w as u times z. It's just using another variable to express it because this is homogeneous. This type of substitution is going to work. But before we get into the substitution, let's go ahead and differentiate both sides here to find dw over dz, which uh, we're going to use the product rule for. The derivative of u with respect to z multiplied by z plus the derivative of z with respect to z, which is 1, by the way, times the first function u. So let's arrange this a little bit, like make it a little nicer. dw over dz can be written as z times du over dz plus u. Awesome. So that is my expression for dw over dz, but I also have this for dw over dz, so they are equal. Let's go ahead and set those equal to each other, but at the same time, I want to use this substitution, so let's go ahead and replace w with uz first. So, start with dw over dz, and now we're going to replace w with uz here and here, and then I'd like to factor the z out. That gives me 1 plus u over z times 1 minus u. And z cancels out, and we end up with something like this. Now is the time to replace dw over dz with this expression right here. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. So dw over dz is equal to z times du over dz plus u, and that is equal to 1 plus u over 1 minus u from here. Awesome. This is what we were trying to get. Now I have a u here. Uh oh, that kind of bugs me. Let me clean it up. So we have a u here. Let's go ahead and transfer it to the other side so that we can get a nicer expression. And guess what? It's going to be real cool. So we're going to subtract u from this. And that's going to give me 1 plus u minus u plus u squared divided by 1 minus u u cancels out and we end up with 1 plus u squared divided by 1 minus u. That is the expression for z times du over dz. So let me rewrite it. And guess what? This becomes a separable differential equation. Yay! All these transformations and substitutions make it a separable equation. Now, let's go ahead and put the, you know, I guess uh, the z is on one side and then u is on the other side. Or you can do it the other way around. It doesn't really matter. No big deal. Um, I guess we can put the u's on the left hand side since the u is already there. So I'm going to have to flip this fraction and just multiply by the reciprocal. So that's going to be 1 minus u over 1 plus u squared multiplied by du equals dz over z, which means we're going to have the natural log on the right hand side. Now at this point, Let's go ahead and integrate both sides because this is separable. That's how we solve separable differential equations. And now we've got to integrate the left-hand side. Right-hand side is easy. It's just ln absolute value of z. How do you integrate the left-hand side? Easy. We can just separate them. And then it'll be easy to integrate. Now, how do you integrate when you separate them? I'll probably just use another integral symbol for this one. So I'm going to write it as du, uh oh, that's a du, and then minus u over 1 plus u squared du. And that is equal to dz over z. Okay, now, notice that the very first integral on the left-hand side is the inverse tangent or the arc tangent. So I'm going to write the integral of that as 10 inverse of u. And in this one, if you take a quick look, you, you're going to realize, I'm pretty sure, that if you multiply by 2 here and 1 half on the outside, it's going to be balanced. But notice that the numerator, 2u, okay, is going to be the derivative of 1 plus u squared. So some people say that I overdo this joke, so I try to avoid sometimes. But anyways, if 1 plus u squared is like, let's say, a function like f, then the derivative of f is just going to be 2u. So this is ln 2. 
So we can write this as one half of ln. And since one plus u squared is never negative, we can just ignore the absolute value. And the right hand side is just going to be ln absolute value of z. And then I'd like to put my constant at the end. Great. So we, we kind of got the equation, right? The equation was solved, but we have to back substitute. All right. So let's go ahead and back substitute everything. Well, first of all, u is, let's remember, u is equal to, well, we didn't have something for u, but we said that w equals uz, so u is equal to w, by the way, that's a u, w over z. So we're going to replace uh, u with w over z, and z is, we're going to take care of that later. Okay, let's go ahead and do it first. 10 inverse w over z minus 1 half of ln 1 plus w squared over z squared. Or I could write it as the quotient. And I have ln absolute value of z plus c. Now let's go ahead and think about w and z, what they are. Remember, we had our substitution and we got rid of the constants that way. So this is the formula for our substitution, x equals z minus 4 and y equals w plus 1. And we're just going to use those to evaluate w and z. So from here, w becomes, and remember that was y minus k, so it's y minus 1. And z was x minus h which can be written as x plus 4. Awesome. So that's what we're going to substitute, and that's going to give us the following. 10 inverse w, which is y minus 1, over z, which is x plus 4, minus 1 half of ln 1 plus, now I can write this as a quotient first, w over z, and then square it that way. w over z squared, and then finally ln absolute value of z, which is x plus 4 plus c. And this basically gives us the equation in terms of x and y, but unfortunately, it's not possible to isolate y from this equation. It's going to be very messy, and it's impossible, basically. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.